Slick Marketing has worded it as an upgrade from the 9800X3D. It's not. It, it is for a diff... This particular chip, the 9950X3D, is for a different user. A different type of user than the 9800X3D. If all you're doing is gaming, you, you need to stop watching right now and pull the trigger on the 9800X3D. Because everything I'm about to go over, you will not have to deal with. It will be very simple for you. You simply turn on your computer and you're up and gaming. Anyone else on the 9950X3D, you're going to have to go through what I'm about to cover. The 9950X3D is a dual CCD CPU. The die for the V-cache is on one CCD and one CCD only. It's right here. It's on CCD zero. The other CCD is going to be your frequency CCD. It's going to get slightly better clocks, but you don't have the V-cache, the, the, the large 3D V-cache. So, what we want when on this CPU is we want to use a program like Process Lasso to force our games to run on CCD0 and everything else we're doing in the background, all our computer background tasks, everything like that will run on CCD1. Why are we doing this? Because a Windows Scheduler is not perfect. And if you rely completely on Windows Scheduler, what's going to happen is you're, you may be gaming and you may be doing just fine using Windows Scheduler. You're, you're on CCD0, the cache CCD, right where you should be. However, the moment Windows, for any reason, decides to start using and waking up parked cores on CCD1, your frequency CCD, you're going to wind up with cross CCD latency. On top of that, you are now starting to use cores that don't have the vCache. This is going to tank your FPS in a game if this happens to you. There are two very specific games where this happens with. One is Guild Wars 2, the other for whatever reason, is World of Warcraft. It is infamous for switching CCDs. It'll be just fine on the cache CCD. Then all of a sudden, it'll decide it's not happy. And it'll switch to CCD1, which is the frequency CCD. When this happens, you're for a split second, you're going to have cross CCD latency. And then on top of that, once you switch to this CCD, because you're not on the Vcache CCD, your FPS and your 1% lows are going to tank. However, when you're done gaming, you've got a full 16-core CPU again, and it will run normally. Everything, we're do everything I'm about to cover will not affect you when not gaming. It will only affect you when gaming. I'm going to cover, basically, how to avoid all that. So, for a gamer, and keep in mind this is only when gaming, kind of think of your system as a 9800X 3D and a 9700X in the same rig. Eight cores here, eight cores here. How to be guaranteed your game is always going to run on the cache CCD and the cache CCD only. I'm going to use World of Warcraft in Battle.net Launcher as an example. When you first get into the BIOS, if you're on an Asus motherboard, you're probably going to be greeted with something like this, which is a simplified version on, of the BIOS. And what you want to do is click F7. That, that'll take you to the more advanced BIOS, which is what you want. If you're not on an Asus BIOS, you need to try and find these settings within your motherboard's BIOS. 
The settings will be called the same thing, they just may be in a different spot. So, let's jump right into it. On AI Tweaker, you want to make sure Expo is enabled. I've got Expo enabled, however, ignore these settings because I've got my RAM kit manually tuned to 8000 megahertz. But you are just going to want to enable your Expo RAM kit. If you don't have a, an, an actual AMD Expo kit, it may say DOCP right here. You just want to enable DOCP2 or Expo2. Then you want to go to the next screen, which is advanced. We're going to go all the way down. And we're going to look for AMD CBS. Then, within that menu, we're going to go all the way down to SMU options. Now, we're in advanced AMD CBS SMU options. You need to find these menu sections on your motherboard if you're not on an Asus motherboard. You want to set your dynamic preferred cores to frequency. And the reason for this is, is we want all our, all our Windows background tasks and anything Google Chrome, anything like that we run on the system, we want that to select the frequency CCD kind of by default. We are going to manually set the games and only the games to run on CCD0, which is your vCache. You, you could do the reverse if you really wanted to. You could set it to cache and then you could use Process Lasso to set everything else you do on your computer to run on your frequency CCD. I would not recommend that. It's much more work and it's easier just to set the games themselves to run on the cache to run on the cache CCD. So we've got that set to frequency. And once you're done, you're going to go to exit and you're going to want to go to save your changes in your BIOS. And now I'll walk you through what you need to do in Windows. Okay. The first thing we need to do is disable Microsoft Game Bar. And the reason you want to disable Game Bar is because we are using Process Lasso to choose which cores to park and which ones not to. So we do not want Windows interfering. A window will pop up. And you want to make sure game bar is set to off. There's another thing we need to do. You want to click here on apps. Go to installed apps. Up here you want to type in game bar. Click on system components. If it doesn't come up, advanced options and you want to set background permissions to never then you want to click terminate next we want to disable game mode you're going to type in game mode and then click game mode settings a new window is going to pop up and you want to make sure that game mode is off now we will set up Process Lasso. Here we're going to set up Process Lasso. You only have to do this once. Once Process Lasso is set up, it'll do this every time. So keep in mind this is a one-time thing that you have to set up. Uh, the first thing we want to do, if you're playing World of Warcraft or any other game, similar that has any type of launcher. I'm using this as an example. I'm going to choose my Battle.net launcher and I'm going to set that 
to CPU Affinity always and I'm going to set that to CCD1. CCD1 is the frequency CCD. CCD0 is the cache CCD. And if you ever question that, Process Lasso makes it quite clear what's what. Now, how to set up the two CCDs. I'm going to walk you through how to do that right now. What you're going to want to do, as you see, I have a profile called CCD0 cache and CCD1. When I click on CCD1, it highlights my cores and threads for CCD1. When I hit cache, it highlights my cores and threads for the cache CCD. What you want to do is, since this will be blank for you, you want to click add and you want to call it CCD0 C A C A G. You want to call it CCD0 cache. Now I'm adding the Z in there so I can save it as an example. CPU 0 through 15. That is all my threads and cores for CCD 0. I click OK and then I click Save Affinity Name. Next, you're going to want to click Invert. Then, you're going to want to click Add. And you're going to want to call this CCD1. Now I'm going to add another one just so I can save it as an example. You want to click Save Name Definity. Boom. Now I click that. I click my cache. And that's CCD0. That means if I set a game to that, the game is going to run on CCD0. And only the game will run on that CCD. Thanks to our BIOS settings that we've already set up. This is CCD1 and if I set a program to that it will only run on CCD1 which is my frequency CCD. Now I'm going to delete these two since I've already got a CCD0 and a CCD1. In this case you'll notice that Battle.net Launcher says 16 through 31. That means that the Battle.net Launcher is going to run on my frequency CCD, which is what I want. We're going to launch the game. I am in game right now. And you'll notice just mainly the cache CCD is spiking. This right here is CCD1. This is my frequency CCD. This is my cache CCD. You'll notice the game is utilizing CCD0 only. What you're seeing down here activity wise is all my background tests. Thanks to the BIOS settings that we've already set up, all my background tasks, anything I have going on in the background, is going to run on frequency CCD. So my game is isolated to CCD0, just the game. And this is exactly what we want. Why this is so good for someone like a streamer is your game is going to run on the cache CCD 8 cores in just the game. Those 8 cores are going to be 100% dedicated to the game. 
all your background tasks, Google Chrome, any, um, just like I did here, if you boot up Chrome or anything like that, another thing you can do is right here, type in Chrome. Hit enter, and boom, you're going to see Google Chrome. And what you can do, if you want to make sure that Chrome, you can say CPU Affinity, and you can select CCD1. Now, we close Chrome, we open Chrome again. And you will notice Chrome says it's running on CCD1. You're not going to have any cross CCD lag like you would induce lag, input lag, like you would if you were on, let's say, the 9950X. Now, if you were on the 9950X, you could use Process Lasso also to get rid of to get rid of that input lag. It's just not gonna benefit you as much as the 9950X 3D would.